Thanks, Jack. I'm really, be, I'm really excited to be back here on stage here at E3. Uh, I was part of the crowd last year, but I couldn't resist the temptation to be back on stage this year again. So uh, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be back on stage. So PlayStation grew from infancy to adolescence in the very heart of the digital era. And PlayStation's evolution has tracked precisely with, and obviously in many cases, helped lead the increasing comfort consumers have with digital technology. And two years ago, we sought to understand more about how consumers were using that digital technology. So naturally, we went on the road, visiting with publishers, developers, and gamers to ask how we could make the PSB better. And this feedback actually went right back to our engineering team and led to changes in the design and the features of the PSP. So it's my pleasure today to officially introduce the next step in the evolution of the PlayStation Portable. For those who live a more digital lifestyle, who are downloading content across the network, who no longer need or desire tangible media like UMDs, CDs, or DVDs in their homes or backpacks or in their briefcases. And I have it right here in my pocket. Here it is. We actually have uh, a couple of names for this beautiful little device. First, we call it the worst kept secret of E3. And we call it PSP Go. PSP Go represents a new evolution of PSP, specifically designed for the digital lifestyle. And let me be very clear, the PSP Go will not replace the PSP 3000 or the UMD and we will continue to support and market the PSP 3000 alongside the PSP Go. For users of digital content, it represents an object of desire as well as an object of functionality. It's got a great screen, the same great operating system, integrated Wi-Fi, and plays the same terrific games. But its size is really built for the digital consumer. In fact, the PSP Go is actually more than 50% smaller and 40% lighter than the original PSP 1000. So the PSP Go is designed for the digital lifestyle, offering 16 gigabytes of internal flash memory to store plenty of games, videos, music, and of course your photos. And you'll be able to download games and movies and other content from the free PlayStation Network using the PSP Go's built-in Wi-Fi. And as you can see, the PSP Go also has a slide-out feature for the controls, integrated Bluetooth technology, and a new memory stick micromedia port, also known as M2, for adding even more memory to the system. And as Jack mentioned, 2009 will see more big franchise titles released on PSP than any other time in the history of the PSP platform. But we're also working to make the experience easier and more enjoyable. So for starters, today we're launching a new application used to access the PlayStation Store on the PC that makes it so much more easier to manage your content across your PC and your PSP, and it's called Media Go. Media Go has replaced the current version of the Media Manager and is now the application used to access the PlayStation Store directly from your PC. It makes content transfer of pictures and movies and music that much easier with really a much more intuitive interface. And clearly, the ability to consume all forms of media on the PSP is very crucial. And we have seen an increase in music usage on the PSP system recently. And in response, we're going to introduce a new application specific to the PSP. And this application is called SenseMe. So incorporating a 12-tone technology recognition system, SenseMe will analyze your music library to deliver a playlist based on the moods that you select. Launching on PSP and PSP Gold this fall, SenseMe really enhances the music experience so that you can easily enjoy the moods and the tracks to fit your mood and occasion. And this year, continuing the momentum that we've built for content on PSP, we're going to also lower the price of the PSP toolkits. Specifically, as part of a longer-term program, it will be an 80% reduction in the cost of the tools, allowing more developers as well as individuals to put even more great content on the PSP. 
What all of these things I'm talking about today have in common is this. They're all designed to bring new content to PSP from games, videos, and music, and make it a whole lot easier to connect directly wherever you go. And most importantly, all PSP titles moving forward will be digitally distributed via the PlayStation Store and at retail via UMD as well. Now, we know that all PSPs on the market are able to connect and store downloaded content, and we also know that many existing PSP owners still want to buy a physical product. So whether your device of choice is the PSP 3000 or the PSP Go, all of the services and features and functionality are there in every device, and we're constantly looking to strengthen the experience and provide the best content that is available. So ultimately, the PSP Go is one more proof point that PlayStation offers the future of entertainment technologies. The PSP Go will be available in stores in North America and in Europe at the same price point. $49 and €249 Euros and available on October 1st in North America. And in Europe. And for 26,800 26, yen on November 1st in Japan. So with PSP Go living side by side with the PSP 3000 at $169, there's a great choice for everyone looking for entertainment on the go. Now let me talk a little bit about the video delivery service. At E3 last year, we launched a video delivery service that seamlessly delivered content that can be enjoyed in your living room or on the go. And since its debut on this stage last July, the video delivery service has had more than 1,900 movies and now more than 9,400 TV shows available. And starting today, I'd like to announce that the video delivery service will be available natively on the PSP as well. Thank you. Now it's going to be easier than ever to download video or gaming content directly to your PSP. And we're also in the process of adding more content to the PlayStation, PlayStation Store as well. And we've signed partnerships with a host of new providers, and today, We'll be launching content from Showtime, G4, E, HDNet, Stars TV, TNA, Magnolia Films, and a variety of new anime as well as sports partners as well. So the bottom line is this. There will be more content that is easier to get onto your PSP. And as Jack said earlier, PlayStation has something for everyone wherever they want to go. It's entertainment everywhere. But our news does not stop there. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the founder of Polyphony Digital and the father of Gran Turismo, Kazunori Yamauchi.